Hi y'all. This is for those who are interested on DT contactees. I don't really think that I'm a, an AT contactee or an artist or, or this and that. I'm just myself, you know. But nevertheless, uh, as we are here with a purpose. Okay, so let's endure the ET contact D tag. Um, last week I was wondering upon what my purpose would be, or one of my purposes would be whilst being here, and suddenly I heard a voice in my head saying, um, do star beings because they will help you because the making of these uh, sculptures will um, help you to raise your awareness and this uh, was uh, triggered by watching some of uh, Cynthia Crawford's uh, work she always uh, triggers me in a good way so I tried I tried now I did I did this one this is the first of the series. Uh, material wise is paper mache or papier mache. And um, this one is the first that uh, up until now I'm able to finish or I was able to finish. And uh, I tried to connect with him. He felt rather young, curious, and uh, playful. But uh, he didn't say much. He just say, "Call me Billy." Today, uh, two days after uh, finishing, let's say Billy, I felt uh, some um, strong presences around me, and I must say that I could swear that I saw someone with my physical eyes. And I felt some grey strong presence. So I sat and um, let's say opened or, or saw through my third vision, third eye vision, and uh, I saw a being just like Billy but uh, three times bigger and grey. Apparently it was let's say Billy's father. And uh, he um, said um, hi, we are interdimensional beings, just like us, that really haven't got a place to exist, a home. We are travelers, and it is for us our utmost pleasure to cross worlds and dimensions and so forth. So we are, as you, as you see, taller than you, or even our kids mutating from a reddish coloration into a paler pink until we mature into a gray skin tone. We feed ourselves with what you might consider like cosmic plankton, or plankton floating in open air. The teeth, because he, they have the, those uh, two, let me show you, two little antennas like uh, some shellfish and he says the teeth antennas are to, to sense to sense the atmosphere he said that uh, they are androgynous or have both genders and it is up to them uh, to decide which side to turn to in order to mate and he, then he said, oh yeah, we also do it. We are non-aggressive and travel or coexist in family as there are, there are no bonds within our species. Although we have a great sense of oneness no matter where others of our own species may be within this idea of cosmos. And then I asked him if it was the first time uh, that uh, his uh, species would appear to any 
anyone here as normally it seems that whatever I see no one no one uh, ever saw it before or heard it or makes me makes me feel always a bit like um, a bit crazy you know uh, he says no it's not the first time we appear to your human consciousness but our contact exchange is recent um, this Billy boy Billy boy makes uh, is the first one to come um, to be integrated in um, a project I've been thinking some of you might know already my my historical project called my royal dolls but I think it's something bigger because the purpose is to create um, wormholes in uh, within the consciousness that that uh, of those who see my work to exp to feel no first to wonder how I can travel through time and then to trigger themselves to do the same that's why we are here for right to to show others how to do it not showing off just to share that's what I've been uh, programming myself because I always think that uh, when I do something I want to show off no I don't want to show off I want to share and to share telling that I'm not greater than you I may have my own characteristics and my own abilities but you have yours and it's for you if you want to know mine or to see mine in order to experience to to wonder and in order to experience your own so my future project whenever i uh, am able to get uh, finally a computer because i'm recording this through um uh what you say what you call it a um uh uh, a tablet Oof. a tablet and tablets are not very keen on um, not very good tools to to make uh, things uh, like websites and, and stuff like that so I'm a bit stuck at the moment um, computer wise anyway because sculpture wise or art wise I'm, I'm still active and kicking thank heavens and um, I'm going to create a, a new project called My Royal Oneness. Again, royal, it's nothing to do with um, politics. It's, uh, in my perception, uh, as you know, the, the kingship is an idea that uh, it was uh, um, given by God to a certain person as I believe that all of us we are uh, a sparkle of the divine so we are royals too not blue blood not Windsor not you know so we are royals always we are all royals and um, we are all one and uh, we are multi-dimensional and uh, there is there are no veils there are no uh, someone who lives in the 18th century okay he lived in the 18th century but he's able to we are able again to go uh, to his his epoch because it's no past it's a parallel reality so again it's about traveling uh, through parallel ideas of existence so this whole project is is um, will uh, uh, explore that uh, idea although I may not um, uh, make it as clear as uh, one could because my point is actually to 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 help myself to grow whilst doing this and whoever is willing to 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 watch or um,
to go with the flow, you'll uh, be uh, very welcome. And in the end, might uh, I might uh, be able? That's my dream. Be able to to um, within one just one space to create a sort of museum, but not a history or a doll museum, but a interdimensional, parallel, reality traveling sort of temple, where, for example, if you would sit in the middle of it and would watch all of them, you would get, you would exchange your own frequency with the frequency of the the present artwork um, and uh, you could go wherever you would like. Of course I'm still 33, I'm still young and uh, I hope I can manage to accomplish this, if not, but on the other. Thanks for watching, say bye Lily, bye, bye.